<laughs> You're going to need some special supplies today before you get started. One of them is a nice sharp pencil so that you can erase if you make mistakes. You're also going to need some colored pencils or crayons and they need to be in five different colors. You'll need a red, a green, a yellow, a blue, and an orange. So before we get started, make sure you have everything you need. Today you're going to be making a masterpiece. A masterpiece with words. So what you can want you to be able to do today is write a sentence, but a special kind of sentence. A sentence that paints a picture in your reader's mind. You can what a relaxing studio. You're gonna do some art today, like it. What are you gonna paint? Oh, a picture of a dog. Lots of action in that picture. But you can, you don't have paints. Uh, you're not going to use paints. You're going to use words. Trusty medium. First, you have to think of a who. The dog. Oh, no. The wet dog. You're right. If we're going to be using words, we need to be using adjectives to help add more detail to our picture. Okay. But you're thinking about maybe doing a different perspective. Like that ear. That black, furry ear. Nice adjectives, by the way. Or maybe even that water. Your who could be the splashing water. Or maybe your who could even be the lake. That reflecting lake. Look how still that water still is before the dog hits it. This is a very tough artistic decision. The who you can's gonna go with is the wet dog. What is the who? Well, the who is a noun. Remember a noun is a person, place, or thing. Our noun in this who is dog. And it also includes an adjective. We need a nice descriptive adjective to help our reader see a clear picture. So we chose wet because we thought that would help our reader see a picture of that dog more clearly. You can, you are covered in words. You just cannot keep yourself clean when you are working on your masterpiece sentences. Oh, and now you're ready for an action. It's gonna get even messier. Okay, so we've got the wet dog, we've got our who, and now we need to come up with an action. Runs. Mm, no, a little boring leaps. Dashes, uh, frolics, hmm, that's a happy one. Hurdles, sprints, bounds. So many active verbs to choose from. Which one paints the best picture? Let's find out. Yukan's gonna go with the action, hurdles. 
He likes that verb. He thinks it really helps his reader see what that dog is doing. What is the action? The action is a verb or a word that shows what action is taking place. You can. Creating a masterpiece is no easy task. It's okay if you're feeling a little tired. Let's take a deep breath and let's get back to it. Okay, you've got your who, the wet dog. You've got your action hurdles. And now we've got to think about how that dog is hurdling. Is he hurdling quickly? Swiftly? Hurriedly? Suddenly? Perhaps determinedly. Maybe he really wants a ball or something. Oh, untiringly. You can, I think you need to persevere through untiringly yourself. It's a nice adverb. Let's see what you decide. You can is going to go with the how suddenly. He really thinks that dog is hurtling out into the water all of a sudden, suddenly. What kind of word is a how? A how is an adverb. An adverb describes our verb. It tells us how the action is happening. So how is the dog hurtling? He's hurtling suddenly. It describes our verb. You can often, we think we're done with a piece of art, only to look at it again and realize it's not quite there. And that's what your piece of art is. It is not quite there yet. We've got to answer a question. We've got to answer when. When was the dog hurtling? Was it on a hot summer day? Looks like it. How about after a ball was thrown? Hmm, both could answer that question. What do you think you'll do, you can? So you can chose the win on a hot summer day. What is the win? Well, it's a prepositional phrase. And a prepositional phrase is a phrase that starts with a preposition. This prepositional phrase starts with the preposition on. And a preposition can tell us when something happened. So this preposition tells us when the dog was hurtling. When did it hurtle? On a hot summer day. On a hot summer day is a prepositional phrase because it starts with that when preposition. So close. We're almost there. One last piece and I believe your masterpiece will be complete. Where? Where was the dog hurtling? Do you have some thoughts? Perhaps he was hurtling across the calm lake. It was indeed calm before he started splashing into it. Or maybe he hurtled through the spraying water. Both nice wares. Make a choice. Okay, you can chose across the calm lake. Won't be calm for long though, will it? What is aware? It's also a prepositional phrase. Remember, a prepositional phrase starts with a preposition. This prepositional phrase starts with the preposition across. Across is a preposition that tells us where the wet dog is hurtling. Across the calm lake is a prepositional phrase because it starts with a preposition across and it answers the question, where? You thought you were done, didn't you, you can? Oh, no, no, no. An artist's work is never done. It is now time to see if your art is fluent. So let's put the words together to make a sentence. The wet dog hurdles suddenly on a hot summer day across the calm lake. That's a sentence, a nice big one with lots of 
great stuff. But, um, oh, yep, you do need to capitalize. Don't forget about that. And I'll put a period at the end. But I think we can do better. I think we could rearrange the words differently. Let's try this. On a hot summer day, the wet dog hurdles suddenly across the calm lake. Hmm, that sounds nice. Let's go ahead and add that capital. Yes, yes, yes. Put a period at the end. And now we need some commas. Yeah, on a hot summer day, the wet dog hurdles suddenly across the calm lake. Oh, you're still not satisfied. Let's try again. Suddenly, on a hot summer day, the wet dog hurdles across the calm lake. Capital. Mm-hmm. Make that happen, you can. Oh, good. We've got a capital. And period. Very nice. Now, commas. Suddenly, on a hot summer day, the wet dog hurdles across the calm lake. You can. That's beautiful. There are so many different ways to arrange these pieces and make them sound beautiful. This is the way you can chose. He chose to put his how first, or his adverb first. He's gonna do that, he's gonna put suddenly, and then he's gonna put a comma because there's a nice pause after that. Suddenly, then he chose to put his when prepositional phrase. So suddenly, on a hot summer day. Then he's going to choose to put his who, the wet dog, next. After that, he's going to put his action. What'd the wet dog do? The wet dog hurdles. And last, he's gonna put his where. Where did he hurdle? Across the calm lake. I'm gonna read this again. Let's listen for some places where there's pauses to help us know where commas need to go. Commas are an important part of making your sentence fluent. We figured out that first one. Suddenly, on a hot summer day. I just heard a pause there. Usually between two adjectives, we put a comma. Let's do that. Suddenly, on a hot summer day, the wet dog, oh, I think I heard another pause. I think I should put commas around my when prepositional phrase. There was a nice pause there. Let's read it again. Suddenly, on a hot summer day, the wet dog hurdles across the calm lake. Ooh, need a period at the end, we're stopping. I think I've got it. It sounds pretty fluent. And now, presenting UCAN's final masterpiece. UCAN, it's beautiful. Um, but you have an art critic coming. Okay, and he's got a checklist. Let's see if your work stands up. Yes, you do have a capital. And, oh goodness, you do have a period at the end. Oh, you have a subject. Yes, the wet dog. He can check that one off. Uh, an active verb. You've got it. What about it? some descriptive adjectives? Yes, you've got wet, you've got hot, you've got summer, you've got calm. It's full of descriptive ad adjectives. An adverb? Suddenly. Very nice. A where prepositional phrase. Across the calm lake. A win prepositional phrase on a hot summer day. Is it fluent? Hmm, suddenly on a hot summer day. The wet dog hurdles across the calm lake. That sounds pretty fluent. You can, the art critic gives you five stars. Your masterpiece could be worth a lot of money. Time for the fun part. We get to get out our colors. 
and make this sentence truly a masterpiece. So let's go down our checklist and make sure our sentence is just the way we want it. Does our sentence have a capital at the beginning? It does. Does our sentence have a period at the end? It does. Does our sentence have a subject? Check it out, subject is red. Remember our subject should include a nice descriptive adjective, wet. I'm gonna check that off with my red. Does my sentence have an active verb? A verb I can really see happening. It does. Hurdles. I'll check that off. Does my sentence have descriptive adjectives? It does. There's a descriptive adjective in my, um, my who or my subject. There's also some descriptive adjectives in my prepositional phrases. Adjectives can be in lots of different places. So in this case, hot and summer are describing the day, and here, calm is describing the lake. So I have lots of descriptive adjectives that help my readers see the picture more clearly. So I can cross that one off. Does my sentence have an adverb? Remember, an adverb is my how. It does. How was that dog hurtling? It was suddenly hurtling. One thing about adverbs to remember is that they often end in an L-Y. Something good to think about. Oh, and I'm gonna cross that one off. Does my sentence have a where prepositional phrase? It does, across the calm lake. That's where the dog was hurtling. Does my sentence have a when prepositional phrase? It does. When did it happen? On a hot summer day. And is my, is my sentence fluent? I've got commas to tell my reader when to pause, and I've rearranged all my parts in a way that I think sound pretty nice. I think my sentence is pretty fluent. We did it, guys. Check out our masterpiece. It is time for you to use the medium of words to make your own masterpiece. Okay, so first, you're gonna take a look at the picture, which is coming in just a second, and you will decide your who, action, how, when, and where, and write them here. Then, you'll think about fluency and put all the pieces together, and last, critique your sentence using the checklist. Here's the picture. Pause the video and turn this picture into a word masterpiece. Okay, here's how I did it. But remember, there are endless ways to create a masterpiece sentence that still follow all the criteria. So yours is not going to look like mine at all. If it was the same, I would be shocked. You could read my mind if that was the case. So the who I chose was the white light. Remember, our who is a noun, the light, and an adjective that's descriptive, white. The action or verb that I chose was streams. That white light was streaming. The how or the adverb, it's gently. How did it stream? It gently streamed. And notice how that kind of sets a tone for my picture I'm creating. It makes it calm. When was the light streaming? As the elephant strolled. Now strolled is a verb, it's an action, but it's not the action that the subject or the who is doing. So that's important to remember as we color it later. And where was the light streaming? Through the jungle. 
Look at that room there, canopy. So the when is a prepositional phrase that starts with the preposition as. Look, I found it up there. The where is a prepositional phrase that starts with the preposition through. And I found that in my word bank too. There are lots of other prepositions. These are just a sample um, to get you started. Then I went ahead and thought about fluency. And I tried out a lot of things in my mind. Um, I tried through the jungle canopy, as the elephant strolled, the white light streams gently. I could try um, the white light streams gently as the elephant strolled through the jungle canopy. There are so many different ways that are all fantastic. But the way I chose was to put my win first. As the elephant strolled. So that's when it's happening. And I think I'm gonna need a comma there. Might have to go back and erase that later. Then I decided to put my who or my subject, the white light. After that, I decided to put my how, gently. Then I put my action, streams. And then my where, through the jungle canopy. Can you see that picture in your mind? I can. The next thing I did was look at my criteria, my checklist to make sure I had everything I needed. And I also pulled out my colors. I'm gonna check, does it have a capital? Yes. Does it have a period? Yes. Does it have a subject, which is my who, or my noun and adjective? Sure does. The white light. Oh, check that off the thread. Does it have an active verb? Yeah, that white light streams. That's an active verb that I can see. Does it have a descriptive adjective? Sure does. White describes light. Jungle describes the canopy. Does it have an adverb or a how? How did the light stream? It streamed gently. Go ahead and cross that off. Does it have a where prepositional phrase? Well, where was the white light streaming? It was streaming through the jungle canopy. And does it have a when prepositional phrase? When was the light streaming? It was streaming as the elephant strolled. Okay, now let's check for fluency. Well, I'll check that out first. I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna listen for pauses to see if I can figure out where commas might go. As the elephant strolled, the white light gently streams through the jungle canopy. Definitely heard a pause there, but nowhere else. I think that might be the best place for my comma. And I, I like the order I used. I think my sentence is, is fluent. Yay, it's my masterpiece. What do you think? Ha, ha, ha.